Oh hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am decorating for Christmas 2020. But hey, today is about Halloween. I'm going to take you on a tour of my outdoor fall decor. So hey, don't look too close at this. Head outside. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a tour of the fall decor outside this year. So we're going to start in the shed, or at the shed. I have a banner up there that says Halloween and then this scarecrow that's hanging on the door. So if you remember from my home tour, the lady Erin that made stuff, her mom makes the wooden stuff. So I just have this scarecrow there, a couple pumpkin posts and then some corn stalks and stuff. Now a bunch of the plants have been cut back obviously because they are dying. I just have a pumpkin there. I tried to keep it simple, but you know me. So, then we have the back of the shed. I just put a sign up there. I made the cat. And just a couple things here. Over in the Winslow garden, there's a lot of fall plants, so to speak. So I just put a couple pumpkins there. Then as you walk over here, I just have a little grouping of fall stuff. I pulled out some of my candy corns. And then Aaron's mom, Chris, made this cat. And I made this cat. He's wearing a pumpkin, but it flipped around. I have some fall buntings. I have some empty pop cans. That's nice. And this is just a view up to the porch. I have this little landing decorated there. Then over here, a couple more things. I pruned the roses because they were just going nuts. There is still some green left on them. And I have a little grouping of stuff back there. And the gazebo, this is where I went crazy. back up and give you like an overview. So, Chris made this flower, this scarecrow, two little pumpkins here. I made this owl. And then we did recently carve pumpkins, so there's some there. Then inside, of course, it is decked out for fall also. So, I obviously leave a bunch of water bottles around. So, lots of little things to bring in fall. And I love this brown tree. I have a couple of them. Um, if you guys can find these, please like tell me where you found them because I cannot find them for the life of me. I just have a scarecrow sitting up there. Then I did sort of like a little pumpkin patch here. I found these ceramic pumpkins at Lowe's. And then this Snoopy one was from TJ Maxx last year. And of course, I couldn't keep the water in the fountain all year, so I did winterize it. I drained it, put some burlap in there, and then I got to thinking, oh my gosh, we're on the right track to fall decorating here. So I added some lights, leaves, and some pumpkins. And I just love how that looks. So another overview from this side. And then of course, I have orange lights like all over the place, so. I did not skimp on the lighting. Then the wagon, I just did a couple things over here. The plants are kind of dying though. So there's a look at that. Then over here I have another grouping. Now here's what I did. I got fake pumpkins because, well, one, I'm tired of wasting money on real ones, but See how these faded? Next year I'll take them and just spray paint them real quick and then they'll be good to go. And I can just keep reusing them over and over and over again. 
Unless I try to grow pumpkins, which we shall see. Then up here, there's just a couple things. It's really hard to run power up here, so I just have a scarecrow and some pumpkins and sunflowers. And then there is lights on that little fence there. And then these lights right here, they're blowing around. We're having really bad wind today, but they blink at night. So here's an overview. And then really, the last place that I actually did anything was around the windmill here. I have a couple pumpkins. This is the back side of them. But I just figured I'd do something small here. So that is my fall decor outside. It's not a lot, but I think I did enough to spread the theme through the whole yard. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and hey, I gotta get back to Christmas decorating. So, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.